Hi guys, I'm Mr. Howe, subject leader for design technology at Ton Rebel Community School. Just like to uh, go through a few things with you, uh, just let you know what's happening in year seven when you come to join us. So we are a science and technology uh, faculty, so science and technology are joined together uh, and we uh, carry out STEM activities in year seven and year eight. So we are looking forward to seeing you uh, when you arrive in September. Uh, hope you have uh, a lovely uh, summer term in your primary schools and a restful summer ready to start learning and having some fun when you get to us. All the best. Speak to you soon. Hi guys, I'm Mrs. Howard Knowles and I'm one of the STEM teachers at Tonner Rebel Community School. Um, I really, really like animals and biology in particular, and I have an obsession with dinosaurs. But I'm looking forward to seeing you all soon and we will hopefully have lots and lots of fun in our STEM lessons. Bye. Hi, Year 6, and my name is Mrs. Hill, and I am a STEM and technology teacher here at Tonner Revel Community School. We look forward to seeing you in September and welcome you to the department where you will complete many exciting lessons. Hi, Year 6. My name is Miss Israel, and I am a science teacher and part of the science and technology department at Tonner Revel Community School. I will be delivering the STEM lessons for many of you when you come up in Year 7. I am so excited to see you in my class and to see your faces. And I am really enthusiastic about getting involved with all the engaging lessons we've got planned for you. I hope you enjoy the rest of your term at your primary school. And we will see you very, very soon for an exciting Year 7 to start. Take care all. See you soon. Bye. Hello, I'm Miss Newell, and I may be one of your STEM teachers next year in Year 7. Um, I teach here at Tonner Revel Community School, and I am a specialist in science, so I love using Bunsen burners and cutting up hearts and looking at things under the microscopes, so hopefully we'll get to do some of those next year. Hope you enjoy the rest of Year 6, and I'm really looking forward to seeing you in Year 7. Bye. Hello, my name is Mrs. Ease. I'm one of the STEM teachers here at Ton Revel Community School. Uh, can't wait to meet you. Can't wait for you to be involved in lots of fun STEM lessons. Um, do lots of learning and learn lots of new skills and hopefully um, enjoy your science lessons. Uh, enjoy the last um, last going off now at primary school. Uh, make the most of it. Lots of fun, lots of memories, and we can't wait to have you. See you soon. Bye. Hi Year 6, my name is Mr Jackson and I'm a DT teacher here in Tonarevel Community School. Um, I teach and deliver some of the STEM subjects at the moment and possibly see some of you next year when you come up uh, and partake in the STEM areas as well. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I teach generally engineering to um, key stages 4 and 5, but I certainly get involved in the STEM and uh, Look forward to seeing you soon. So enjoy the rest of your primary school uh, year and see you in September. Bye. Hi, guys. So my name is Miss Kitchener and I am a biology teacher at Tonner Rebel Community School. I teach all about living things and about how our body works. And I'm looking forward to seeing you when you come up in September and hopefully doing lots of STEM activities with you. Bye, guys. So when you enter Year 7 and move into Year 8, you will be covering a number of different project-based topic areas. And from those project-based topic areas, you will have the delivery of science and technology content. So you may be set very similar to um, in primary that you are familiar with. You'll be set an end goal. And that might be to make something or create something. And from there, the science and technology will feed in to your final end goal. And within these lessons, you will be required to work independently at times. You'll be required to work as a part of a team and be a team player. You will be making and down in the workshop producing an end product or mini little um, tasks and activities to produce 
products from the workshop. You will do science investigations within the class. You will be using equipment like Bunsen burners. You will be using equipment like saws and the technology equipment. You will be doing chemical testing. There is a wide range of things that you will be completing through the key stage three content that's delivered. It's really important that you come in with a mature attitude to work within the science labs and the technology workshops to make sure that you're safe, sound and get everything you possibly can out of the lessons that are being delivered. You will have a great time doing this and you will really, really enjoy the different topics that we have planned for you next year. So the next thing is to show you the classrooms, your different working environments and what you can expect to see when you come up to Tonnerevel Community School and come into your science, technology, STEM lessons. I'm Mr. Barnfield, uh, I'm a math teacher here at Tornado Community School and um, look forward to seeing you. Hello, I am Mrs. Gunter, I'm a math teacher in Tornado School. I have taught here many, many years and I look forward to meeting you in New Year 7s. Hi, my name is Mr. Henshaw, I'm assistant head teacher and I also teach maths here at Tornado. I very much look forward to meeting you. I'm Mrs. Baker, I work in the math department and um, I look forward to seeing you in September. Hello, my name is Miss Ashon, so I work in the Maths Department and the Computing Department in Tom River Community School. I can't wait to meet you all in September. Hi. My name's Mrs Green, I teach Year 7 Computing, I can't wait to meet you all next year. Hi everybody, my name is Mr Gavin Jones and I teach Computer Science and ICT here at Tom River Community School. This is the Max Suite and I very much look forward to showing you some digital technology in the future. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Mrs Tipples and I'm the subject lead for Computing. We can't wait to meet you all and get started in September. Hello, my name is Mr. Hopes, and I'm a maths teacher here at Tonnerevel.com. I'm also the head of the department and we look forward to meeting you in September. Now, you've of course been studying maths for lots of years and you'll be very familiar with the subject. And the good news is the maths we cover in Year 7 isn't that different to what you've seen before. So we will be studying 10 different topics. Okay, we have 10 chapters in the book that we work from and you'll see things like you've seen before. So we look at number skills, we look at probability, uh, percentages and fractions, ratio, um, and transformations might be something new. So there'll be some bits you've seen before that we'll check that you fully understand, that there'll be some new things that we'll push you on to, um, and it's just making sure you've got a really good foundation for moving into the rest of your comprehensive study, okay? Um, so like I said, we can't wait to meet you, um, and hopefully you'll enjoy your time with us. Thank you. Hello 
Year 6, this is Mrs Owens um, and I'm Head of Expressive Arts here at Toronto Revel and I'm really excited today to, to go through with you um, an example of a lesson that you will experience when you come up to us in Year 7. So first of all, you might have heard of Expressive Arts as it's part of the new um, curriculum, but what actually does it entail? So in our school, Expressive Arts, okay, is art, film, music, media and drama and obviously um, media and film are maybe pretty new unless you uh, you have an interfilm club in your school but we do teach all of those subjects at key stage three okay so year seven eight and nine and then we also deliver them for GCSEs and A levels so let's face it it's probably some of your most favorite subjects on that list there and that's what expressive arts is so who are we then so meeting the team here You've got myself, Mrs. Owens, at the top there, okay, sort of uh, point me out there, and I'm Head of Expressive Arts. So I run the day-to-day -day faculty, and I also teach drama, art, film, and media. And then you've got Miss Marshall here, who is our Head of Music and Drama. You've got Miss Huxton, who also teaches music and drama, and you might know Miss Huxton. Um, she's uh, quite sort of Twitter famous with the school. She does post lots of uh, choir videos. And then you have Miss Saltmarsh and Miss Hawkins, who are an uh, art department. That was difficult to say. And Mr. Start, who is our music teacher. And Mr. Jones and Mr. Griffiths, who are our film and digital media teachers. So that's us. And I'm really, really sort of looking forward to seeing you all in September, as are the faculty. I'm Mrs Tranter and I'm the head of the Health and Wellbeing faculty, so I might be one of your teachers next year. There are 10 members of staff here who can't wait to meet and teach you. The way your health and wellbeing lessons will work is that you'll have three subjects. You have MOVE, where you learn about being physically active. You have MAKE, where you learn how to cook and plan and prepare nutritious meals. And you'll also have MIND lessons to focus on your well-being and your mental health and you will enjoy every single one of those lessons. In terms of our expectations, we want you to enjoy your lessons and be prepared. So please bring your kit or bring your ingredients and always bring a smile. And now I'd like to introduce you to the rest of the health and well-being faculty. Hi, I'm Miss Oakden and I might be your teacher for health and well-being. Um, so I look forward to meeting you all and see you in September. Hello Year 6, my name is Mr Newbury, I'm Subject Lead of Health and Nutrition, so you'll see me around and about in the kitchens, on the AstroTurf and everything to do with PE and food. We're really looking forward to seeing you soon. Bye. Hello, I'm Miss Richards and I'm a teacher of health and wellbeing here at Tonner uh, You may have me teaching you next year for your move, make or mind lesson, so I'm looking forward to seeing you in September. Hi, I'm Mr Joseph and I'm a health and wellbeing teacher at Tonner Community School. I may be teaching you for some of your health and wellbeing le lessons next year. I look forward to seeing you when you arrive. Hi, my name is Mr Morris. I'm one of the teachers of health and wellbeing and I look forward to seeing you in September. Hi, I'm Mr O'Leary and I'm a teacher of health and wellbeing here at TCS. Uh, I may be one of your teachers who are teaching you in September and I look forward to seeing you. Hi Year 6, it's Mr Nicholas here and I'm a teacher of health, nutrition and exercise. I teach all the way from Year 3 all the way up to Year 12. So for all your time here, I should be seeing you somewhere in the kitchens or out on the 3G, wherever it is. Anything to do with health and nutrition, you'll be seeing me. Day activities you completed. We were really happy with what you did, okay, and we were excited to see what you could produce. We're looking forward to you joining us in September, and we hope this video tells you a little bit about the English team and the LLC team. So enjoy! 
Hello, I'm Mrs Humphreys. I'm the subject leader for international languages and we're looking forward to welcoming all the year seven to learn lots of languages like French or Spanish. So we're really looking forward to seeing you soon and learning lots of language. Hola, I am Senor Santos. I am a Spanish teacher in TCS. Looking forward to see you next year in year seven. We have a lot of fun learning a lot of Spanish. Adios. Hello Year 6, my name is Miss Vincent and I'm an English teacher here at TCS and we can't wait to welcome you to our school in September. Hi Year 6, I'm Mr Jones, I'm an English and media teacher here at TCS. Um, I really enjoy teaching Year 7 and I'm super excited to meet you all in September. See you then. Hello Year 6, my name is Mrs Hynam and I'm an English teacher in Tonorevo School. We're so looking forward to welcoming you here in September. We've spent loads of time planning loads of fun units for you to study and we can't wait for you to come and enjoy them. I hope you have a wonderful summer. Make sure you don't worry or panic about everything because we're going to be here to support you and look after you in September. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mrs Rice, an English teacher here at TCS. I'm really looking forward to meeting you in September and I hope that in some time we can turn you into budding readers and writers. Shumai, Mrs Griffiths at W. Hello, I'm Mrs Griffiths and I'm leader of Welsh and Cymru Cymraeg at Tomorrow Community School. I'm really looking forward to seeing you all in September. I love teaching Welsh to Year 7 because it's probably the most exciting year where you all have lots of fun. We develop Welsh language skills through playing games, lots of interaction, and the main skill is speaking. So I'm looking forward to hearing you all speaking Welsh and learning Welsh in September. Hi, Val. Hello, Year 6. My name is Mrs. Marvelli. I'm an assistant head and an English teacher here at Tom River Community School. Year 7 is always one of my favourite year groups to teach, uh, so I'm really looking forward to teaching you, and I'm sure we'll have lots of fun and learn lots next year. <laughs> Shamai Year 6, uh, my name is Miss Howell and I'm one of the humanities teachers and I could be one of the teachers who is teaching you um, in, in September when you all come up to Year 7. We are all super, super excited to meet you all, um, so I have put this presentation together just as a brief introduction into humanities, what sort of subjects you are going to be uh, learning about in September and a chance for you to meet the team and to understand each subject. So, as you can see in front of you, you will be exploring the following subjects. Geography, History, RE, Business Studies and Social Sciences. You will touch on Business Studies in Year 7, 8 and 9. And Social Sciences is something you'll probably be studying in GCSE and A-level years. So, let's meet the team. Now, as you can see in the middle there, you've got a lovely picture of Mrs Tiltman there. And she is our Head of Faculty. To the left hand side we've got Mrs Hughes and Mr Bridges. Now they both teach business, BTEC, work skills, economics and this is something you'll be studying for GCSE and A level if you wish to take them for further education. The bottom left hand side we've got the lovely Miss Johnson and she is one of our history teachers within the faculty and Mrs Lanchbury Cooper who is one of the social sciences teacher, teachers. To the right hand side we've got Mrs Drew who teaches RE, then Miss Hillier who is the Head of Geography. Below we've got Miss Parker who is the, one of the other RE teachers and myself Miss Howell, the bottom right hand teacher, the right hand picture and I am one of the Humanities teachers so I will be teaching a range of History, Geography and RE. So let's have a look at each subject in Humanities and what sort of topics you can expect to be studying within these subjects. The first one there in that image is the Bayo Tapestry, so the Battle of Hastings, who became the next King of England. Jack the Ripper, you'll be studying all about him in Year 8. On the right hand side, you've got a picture of Crusade. Why did people go on Crusades? How did the Crusades happen? Then you've got the left hand bottom picture of a plague doctor. You'll be learning about the Black Death, very current at the moment in our news. Titanic in year eight, how did it sink? Who was responsible for the sinking? Owen Glyndu was the last Prince of Wales, and of course not forgetting the famous Henry VIII and his six wives. And then geography within humanities, another one of my favorite subjects. We'll be looking at different cultural identities and how they affect climate change and how we have a responsibility to climate change. 
A big topic within geography will be learning about natural hazards, things like tsunamis, volcanoes. We'll also be learning about rainforests and rivers. We'll be looking at China and their one-child policy, how they manage the population. Why on earth did they manage the population? We'll also be looking at tourism, one of the last topics you will study in Year 9 Geography. You will be looking at tourism, why people tour the world, why people travel and visit different countries. You will also be learning RE within Humanities. We will be learning different cultures, identities and religion, of course. We will be looking at Hinduism, the wedding ceremonies, funeral ceremonies, birthing ceremonies. We'll be looking at Christianity closely, looking at their wedding ceremonies, comparing ceremonies between the religions. We'll also be looking at places of worship, and in particular, places of worship within Tonaravel, and how faith and religion is so different in Tonaravel to 100 years ago. That image there for the media. We'll be looking at the role of religion within media, internet, radio, magazines, how people can be so cruel towards religion. Now, something you will be learning within humanities is business studies, something you might not have had an opportunity to learn about. So we will be looking at things like business enterprise, unique selling point to UP, USP. You will give, you'll be given an opportunity to create a product, to sell that product, to, mark, to begin a marketing strategy of how you are going to sell that, that product. You will look at the four P's of marketing, product, price, place, promotion and make you think differently about shopping in a superstore. We'll be looking at multinational companies. There's an image there of examples, Nike, Coca-Cola, Google, McDonald's. You will understand how these are multinational companies. Do they have companies all around the world in different countries or just one? You'll also be looking at costings of products, all about money, how you can make a successful business. Then, of course, we come to social sciences. This is something you would most definitely not have discovered yet in primary school. You'll be looking at things like criminology, discrimination, crime and punishment. You will be looking at the important psychology and how the criminal minds work. You will be most definitely looking at case studies, things that have happened in the past, murders, crimes. You will be researching into them with different methods and criteria. You'll be looking at evidence and knowledge and data to understand why, of course, those crimes have been committed. You'll look at discrimination in most particular, racial discrimination, gender discrimination. And you will be most definitely looking and working with newspaper articles and previous studies in court cases, especially news bulletins. Now, social sciences is definitely something to consider when you are going into GCSE and A-level years. And social science is something you will be introduced to in year nine if you wish to. These subjects or topics that you'll be learning in social sciences will create lots of job opportunities for when you're older. So that is something worth looking at as they are very, very interesting topics.